Dr. Drew Drummond has joined us here at the Morning Blend for several years now. We've covered a range of problems, headaches, fibromyalgia, neck pain, but the most common issue for his patients is low back pain. We're going in depth today about the causes of it and why people have so much trouble finding treatment that works. It's puzzling. Dr. Drew Drummond is with Spinal Balance Health Center. It's always a pleasure to have you yeah, here. It's and nice to be here. You can't see it. We saw it in, uh, when you were oh. sitting in the green room. <laughs> He's got a bucket here to really demonstrate something that a lot a lot of us probably relate to yeah. um, low back pain can be excruciating. What are some yeah. of the most common causes of it? Um, you can think of low back pain in a couple different ways. You can mm -hmm. look directly at the low back to figure out what is causing the pain. It can be nerve root um, problems. It can be uh, discs that are thinning. It can be degeneration. It can be arthritis. But um, one of the reasons that it's such a difficult problem to fix mm -hmm. is that the problems don't start in the low back, they're usually a reaction to something else that's going on in the body, and the low back's just adapting. So if you take care of the area that is adapting and you never take care of the underlying problem, mm -hmm. uh, then you just fight it and fight it and fight it. And in the case of uh, what we do, we correct the misalignment at the top of the neck that ends up causing the posture problem mm -hmm. that then leads into the low back. So I, I think I even have a, a picture here with a poster. We can compare what somebody looks like that would be in balance compared to out of balance. And if if you look at the right hand guy, um, he would have a top of the neck that is in balance, the nervous system is working better, um, the nerves that control posture are working the way they should, but in the left side would illustrate what somebody would look like after say a whiplash accident or birth trauma or falling down the stairs, some kind of an accident would misalign the top of their neck and it interferes with the nerves controlling the back muscles so that the right side you can see is contracted mm -hmm. that eventually gives people a short leg and then they have to adapt to that wow. short leg and that ends up being what causes low back issues in most cases I mean, is I, the adaptation. Just look at their waist and how yeah. that right hip is elevated. Of course they're going to have yeah. low back. There's how no could other, you? There's no other way. Yeah, there yeah. is. No, but, but one of the things that we've heard from your patients time and again is how many types of treatment they've tried over the years, yeah. but it didn't yield much relief. I mean, that's a yeah. common issue for people. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't yield relief. Just be, It's like having a car that's out of alignment but never fixing the alignment issue. Mm -hmm. You just fix the tires. And I've got a little, I've got an example. If yeah, I can, the bucket. I'm like, I, what's the story with the bucket? it? All right. Sure. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it works out. But if you know, if you look at my posture, mm -hmm. um, which camera are we on yeah, right there? So you. you can look at my shoulders, and they're nice and even, even shoulders, even head tilt. I'm standing straight up and down. But the moment I pick this bucket up, it would pull me over if I didn't adapt. So now you can see my shoulders are uneven. My I'm leaning to the side, and one of the main areas that adapts to this situation is the low back. I mm -hmm. can no longer be balanced. Um, and I was carrying the bucket in for my car, and by the time I got to the green room, my low back hurt because it had been imbalanced so long. But immediately I put the bucket down, and then I go back to being balanced. It's mm -hmm. these posture mechanisms, the imbalance mechanisms we have. You see, but your point isn't yeah. that you, we're all walking around with a bucket in our hand. Your point is, if that's what your body is like all yeah. day, every day, no matter yes. what you're doing. Yeah. With an upper cervical yeah. misalignment, it simulates having a bucket. It, it's tightening one side of your body, giving you a short leg that when you mm -hmm. stand on, you then have to adapt if you don't want to fall over. So essentially, with low back pain, most of the common treatments are treating the low back but making the person carry the bucket around, never actually saying, let's put the bucket down, let's ca take care of the imbalance, and that's the difference. And that brings yeah. us to Nuka Care, yeah. something that's been around for a long time, though yeah. a lot of people are still new to the idea. Yeah. It's almost taking a more holistic approach to care. It really is. Um, Western medicine, modern health care, allopathic health care, it's all symptomatically based where you look to see what hurts mm -hmm. and what can I do to get rid of the pain. What we do is correct an upper cervical misalignment that is interfering with the nerves that control posture, then tumbling into other nerve problems and other joint, uh, weight-bearing joint problems. So I would say this is more of a falls in the holistic kind mm -hmm. of realm. It's when I, I used to think of holistic as something kind of weird and alternative, but in fact, it's, it's not that at all. It's just treating the body, uh, in, in, like all the systems integrate together to function as a mm -hmm. unit, and you have to treat it that way. You can't separate it out, yeah. If you're already in pain, the last thing you want is to go through a treatment that's painful. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what, it's gotta get worse before it gets better? Yeah. But I think that's one of the other things that, that your patients have told us time and again, is how surprised they were by the gentle nature of these adjustments. Explain yeah. what you're doing with patients like yeah, what we're seeing her, here. This shows somebody, uh, the patients lie on their side to get adjusted, and it's a very, very gentle, gentle correction to the top of the neck. But it's all set up properly. You only need to use about two pounds of force actually pushing on the neck. So while it doesn't feel like much, it's enough to move the, the bone 
sometimes as little as two millimeters is mm -hmm. what the misalignment is. But once that happens, then immediately the nerves start functioning better and the back muscles loosen up mm -hmm. or even out, I should say. And it's just like putting the bucket down and the body starts to straighten out. But but yeah, there's no pain. Mm -hmm. there's no it, pain. It's a lot of geometry too involved. Yeah. When you take these x-rays, you're looking for very specific measurements. Yeah. You're not guessing about <laughs> what that patient needs. No, the uh, we are... We are taking an x-ray and we are analyzing the top of the neck to see how the head and the atlas and the neck relate mm -hmm. and then geometrically and mathematically calculating how we need to move that bone back into the right position. So here it shows a couple of the films that we would analyze to find out exactly what's mm -hmm. happening with the atlas. and then. Then once we adjust people uh, and everything straightens out, things just seem to get better. That's Sometimes how you know very rapidly. if you're a candidate for care. Yeah. Some of it visually you can tell, sort of like you were saying, with your own shoulders, you see yeah. that drop, but then those x-rays also solidify. Yeah, if somebody's as bad as I was when I was right. holding the bucket, they can look in the mirror and they can see they it know. themselves. But, but a lot of times people come in as little as an eighth of an inch of shoulder difference, a uh -huh. quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch of leg length difference. So uh, you really need somebody to look for you. You can't always tell at home when it's subtle, but living with that subtle, stress over 30 years mm. it causes causes the low back there's to just hurt. no there, if you've tried other things but you haven't tried nuca care yet mm. we've got a great offer for you this morning the first 15 people who call dr drummond's office you'll receive those x-rays also an exam and consultation that whole bundle he brings it to our viewers for only fifty dollars but it can't be unlimited that's why we <laughs> cap it at 15. you'll find him in omaha in the millard area online at spinalbalancehc.com and then the number to call to take advantage of that special offer it's 402-452-3400 dr drummond it's always a pleasure to have you here thanks for having thank me thank you yeah. well